Hey everybody, welcome once again to Dad Brain. It's America's favorite Baltimore-based fatherhood multimedia extravaganza. I'm Jim Meyer, your host, and today is a very special Dad Brain. We're doing something very dear and near to my heart, a car comparison. So today we're gonna to talk about the difference between the ultimate dad car, my 2016 Volkswagen Golf R, the Death Star 2, my other ride destroyed Alderaan, a lot of people don't know that, versus my wife's 2010 Subaru Forester. It is the perfect vehicle for going to a softball game, buying flannel, and the interior, amazingly, child vomit sticks to nothing. Just look at some of the differences here. I've done some modifications to my car. You'll see two sets of front wheels off of Audi R8s. Add lightness, makes it quicker in handling, which is important as a dad. Suppose you're your dad, you got your kids in the car, Bigfoot wanders in the street. With this, I can swerve around them. With my six pot big brake kick, I can stop without harming my children or Sasquatch. Now this is my wife's car, a very different approach. Her car, she'll just hit the Sasquatch. She's probably hit a dozen Sasquoy. I don't know what the plural of Sasquatch is. I'm gonna go with Sasquoy. You can see this was probably a Sasquatch or a deer or a wall. There's a lot of that kind of love on this car. And I think Subaru knew that going in. They built this for moms. They made it just the right size to hit stuff, but not stop. A big part of what makes a car a good dad car or mom car is what you can haul. So let's take a look in the back of the R. This is my car. This is my everyday kit. There's not a lot going on back here. If you see, I've got my bumper bully for parking in, uh, in dangerous spots where there could be a collision. I've got my Volkswagen provided roadside first aid kit. Everything, there's probably a flare in there and, uh, and a tourniquet, that's what I'm guessing. And a leaf, and that is it, that's what's in there. Now let's check out the back of the Subaru, see what kind of junk is in my wife's trunk. So this, Guessing this was once part of the outside of the car. Now it's inside. She clearly cares about it. She's taking it out of the elements and she's keeping that on the inside. Didn't know that had come off. She's got jumper cables. I don't know if she knows how to use them, but they're here. Some, some, some more jumper cables. This is a box of magazines. So if there was some sort of emergency, we'd have reading materials. A third. <laughs> a third um, a jumper cable. So I'm guessing if you wanted to jump your car from a great distance, if you wanted, you could daisy chain all three jumper cables. And this is a bag of plastic bags. So this is where the dad magic happens. This is the inside of my 16R. Uh, let me tell you what I love about this car. From a dad perspective, I can fit two car seats in the back here without having to move my seat forward. So it's great to get the whole family in here. I've got the manual, gives me something to do, be very dad in control. Other things around here, my Passport 360 Max radar detector. Now you're wondering why a dad car needs that. Imagine you've got a situation where one of your children has exploded. This allows you to find the nearest police officer that much faster and get safety. Along that same line, we've got the SOS button here. If something happens, Volkswagen will send paratroopers. I don't know what they do, but they'll help. I've got navigation, my phone, everything interacts perfectly. I've got nav, I've got satellite radio, all the dad rock one could imagine. And no matter what dad, and maybe it's dad rack, whatever it is, you can get it there. You can see it's a little messy. Here's a bottle cap. There was a Burger King crown somewhere. I should hide that before my children find it. Uh, I don't want them to know that I go to Burger King. That's not for kids, that's, that's dad's crown. And this is inside the mom car. In a practicality battle, mom car versus dad car, when we're stopped somewhere, the kids can play in this thing and stick their heads out of the roof, tank commander style, all day. Weirdly, when my kids are in here and stand and open the roof, they say it's a submarine. And I don't want to point to them the fact that you don't open the roof in a submarine unless you don't want to be in a submarine for long. Other great features my wife has added, there's, she's thoughtfully left me coffee. And if there's never not coffee in her coffee mug, there's usually coffee like this in a little pool down yonder. The stereo system is not in the same league as the Golf. Uh, it's no, there's no satellite, there's no navigation, there's no Bluetooth compatibility. The one thing that it does have, if you put a four non blonde CD in it, hit play and take your hands off the wheel, the car will guide you to the nearest yoga studio. Well, thanks again for tuning in once more to Dad Brain, Dad Car versus Mom Car head-to-head -head competition. 